Hello everyone. I have another project I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this one is called Seaside Memories. It is something a little different that I did this time. I have a um, bag that I made out of a thick canvas or um, duck cloth I believe it's called which I stenciled and with permanent inks and um, it's got chains, ropes, this little plant here looks kind of like seaweed. Um, let's see. I also did the strap, as you can see. Just kind of a little bit mixed media-ish, I guess you could say. So a little different. Um, there's a leather pocket right here with some crocheted lace on, um, uh, stitched to the edge and a little charm which is on a lobster clasp as you can see some beads and a little key and some um, fibers just some um, sorry clipped onto there inside the bag is seaside memories journal which goes with the bag set that aside it is also a canvas cover which has this pretty shell and coral seaweed um, pattern on it it is, of course, the soft, a soft cover, like I typically make. <laughs> I've kind of steered away from the hardcover journals. Not that I won't ever go back, but right now this is where my heart and creativity are. So it has a muslin wraparound, clo it has a wraparound closure with a muslin um, tie on it, which I have stitched some more fibers to. And these greens and browns and yellows uh, orange and I also inked up the muslin as you can see with the same inks I got the sniffles inside is a canvas pocket clipped on here is just one of Tim Holtz uh, I think they're called cabinet cards I could be wrong but it just has some boys here with uh, their catch of the day a little tag here with a vintage image from graphics fairy all of the images in here that I printed are from Graphics Fairy. Just a journaling card here that you can journal on. This is a vintage music sheet um, cover uh, that of course says Seaside Memories, which is where I got the title from. And it is vintage, so I reinforced it with this raffia, which I inked and sewed on. Um, the copyright of this was 1924, I believe, so it is brittle. A little bit so just be careful with that I like that it says south winds on the inside some more stenciling here all of the paper is coffee dyed except for the cards and some of the journaling cards are not so this was a card I like this uh, seaside image here put some coffee dyed paper on the in inside and stitched it t directly to the page pocket here some cheesecloth and some die cuts a little a journaling spot here. Oh, I was going to show you on the sides there are lots of little charms and beads and I'll show you each one a little closer as we go through the book and of course tabs and fabric sewn to the edges. So here's one of the tabs with a little oyster with the pearl inside charm. Some stamping. This is from a book page of um, Jacques uh, Jacques Cousteau? Yeah, the underwater explorer. And a vintage children's book page with a little saying here, or a story, I guess. It's got some boats and some boys playing, seahorse, some um, just pattern paper. This just has a couple little beads on it. A side pocket here with a vintage image and some cheesecloth and paper um, collaged on. Another book page. This one was kind of funny. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but it's kind of whimsical. And I just decided why not. Uh, gessoed and inked the back of it, stitched it to another book page. And of course I left it, I just put it in a pocket so it's loose and you can do whatever you want to with it. <laughs> Uh, vintage, a uh, little bit more of a retro image here, just clipped on and I inked it up and you can write on the back of it. 
some of that muslin stitched to the side with some little beads down here. Oh, and pinned up top is a charm with a tiny little shell. It's another um, book page. This one was from Gypsy Moth Circles the World. This is the Gypsy Moth. And coffee dyed and stenciled page sewn to the back. Oh, and on the bulldog clip here is a little uh, glass bottle with some little dried grasses and leaves in it and some little beads on there. Some stamping. One of the die cut negatives, which I um, inked and sewn on. Um, what's that called? Ledger paper. <laughs> Muslin and a little bead. The other side of that the page. I really like the colors. I was trying to draw the colors from this is the oranges and yellows and blues. The pocket here with the sea turtle. Some more stenciling on an index card which you can journal on. A little pocket here in this little envelope which is sewn on with a little tag. And behind that in the big pocket is another little journaling card which is coffee dye. The other side of the music sheet cover with a journaling card with an octopus. And on this edge I just put some, uh, what's that called? Masking tape. Just to reinforce it because of its age. Some stamping, another little envelope here with a tag, some fabric, another tag in the larger pocket, Oops. and fibers with a seashell paper. This is from a vintage children's book as well. It was one of the part of the end pages and some coffee dyed uh, wax paper. Another journaling card with some stenciling. There's just a little copper uh, charm. Another children's book page uh, speaking about the beach and what the boy sees on the beach. Or girl, I guess it could be. Whoever is reading the story. Little tech spot here with uh, this. This was from the uh, the book that I just mentioned earlier, Jack Cousteau. Uh, this was some of his men on his boat. I thought it was kind of cool. He's looking down at you with his binoculars. <laughs> I don't know. I just just at the back of it, you can see waves on the reverse side as well because it had a picture of uh, another boat. This is an envelope which flips out. Has some stenciled paper for journaling. And the flap of the envelope, of course, makes another tuck spot. I have some dictionary definition. It's a gangway, a part of a ship. Um, stenciling and cheesecloth all sewn on. And then another just little journaling spot. Some inked page. Another page from the Gypsy Gypsy Moth Circles the Globe um, book page. Made a tuck spot out of that journaling card. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> um, uh, this was a tag from Mary Jo, who is abundantly yours. I had to think for a minute. Abundantly yours here on YouTube. She sent me several of these, and I really liked the fish for this. I added some raffia and some... Uh, fabric to the top and just stitched around it. A little bead charm here. Another stenciled page with some of the muslin sewn down. We'll flip up here the beach um, pattern paper. The other side of the gypsy moth page. Um, a vintage image of some shells. Boats, you can see this is in the Sydney Harbor. I don't know why I wanted to point that out, but I did. We'll see horse stamp paper clip here with some fiber on it, just uh, clipping on a vintage image. Some more beads pinned onto this little tab here. Another stencil negative, and it has stenciling on it as well. Uh, die cut negative, that's what that's called. <laughs> These were just kind of funny. 
they they're whimsical again these were children's playing cards they're not real old but I thought they were really cute and so I wanted to put them in here and I just uh, backed them with some coffee dyed paper put them on here and this has a little seahorse charm uh, on the paper clip some stamping pocket here with just uh, paper book page collage done with die cut Ugh. I'm sorry it's, it's me you guys know me I get tongue-tied journaling card here which is inked up this is just a, a tiny little tuck spot this is just the edge of the paper it was perforated so I folded it over and stitched on this fiber I liked the look of the edge so I wanted to keep that and it works as a little tuck spot for this vintage image the back has a, another canvas pocket which just had this image clipped on. Yeah, watch me not be able to get it back on there. And on the clip is just a little tag with a seahorse, it's a coffee dyed image of a ship, and my logo stitched on the back. And the same can the same pattern fabric on the inside of the um, journal. So. <laughs> There it is. All the details will, of course, be listed in my Etsy, and uh, the link will be in the description below. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see other journals that I've made, you can click on my channel link and uh, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.